trade. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. All right. Thanks, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Carlos Correa. Here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. Correa, playing here in his age 26 season, he was selected in the first round during the first year player draft of 2012. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Three and two, full count. Payoff pitch home. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. So now to the plate, Kyle Tucker. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he'll fight this one foul off to the left as the count goes to 0 and 2. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. Gallo is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two Up gone. Up next to the Astros, the first baseman, Yulieski Gurriel. Next up for the Strohs, Yuli Gurriel. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Way to 100 pitches. Here it is. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking his own. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. Now the one and one pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Tavares waits on it. And that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Astros. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point, and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they 